Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're here at the uh, Wing Chun Science School. Uh, we just finished up class. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joseph Musi, uh, the head coach here and the owner of WCS MMA. Um, I'm here with my son, uh, Jojo Switch. Boom. What's up? What's up? And everybody knows the Lobonator, Lobo. I call him the Lobonator. Yo, yo. Yeah, and not to be confused for the Urinator. That's ah. another guy. But so, <laughs> no one. I gotta dad do it jokes. all the time. Yeah, yeah, dad, dad jokes. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, we opened up with a nice little funny joke like that, right? Dad joke. But uh, I want to touch on a serious topic uh, today, and and we don't we don't script this, so we're just gonna see where everything goes with this, okay? Because I might have a, an opinion, an idea of of what I believe uh, it should be, and and we all have different opinions, all right? And if we all agree, then awesome. Um, and the topic really is about uh, in integrity. So now with regards to the gym, right? You say, well, integrity, what, what, what does that mean? It's so general and so uh, vague. Uh, integrity, I'm talking about the integrity, the same type of uh, work ethics that you put into the gym, let's say, right? You know, you come here and you bust your butt, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, and you're working hard. You know, I believe that that should be something that is also translated in, in your everyday life. So in your relationships uh, with either your husband, your wife, your kids, um, your work relationship, um, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, that the same 100% that you would put here in the gym, you know, is the same 100% that you give out, you know, to the world for the rest of the people that know you. Um, or else I feel we start to border or teeter, teeter along the lines of that life of duplicity and and that's where integrity starts to kind of like uh wander all right so that's my take on it all right uh we haven't spoken about this so i don't know what your take on is on it but again with i'm just using the word integrity here as a kind of root word for for something that's analogous with with working out okay so like in training give it your all and you should give it your all in, in everything else that you do in your life or else you, you start to look like lopsided, meaning you, you it, it doesn't show on the outside what you put on the inside here. Again, that's my take on it. So I'll open the floor. You know, you guys put, 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 put your own spin on it. What you think? Um, yeah. So, yeah, I agree with a lot of what Coach was saying right there. You know, integrity. You you could you could spin this many ways, you know, but I'm gonna just run with it in the gym in the gym terms. You know, integrity is also like taking care of your partners, you know. Are you looking at them like enemies over here? Are you going too hard? You know, we see that a lot in the gyms where they just they're killing each other. You know, I got injuries that's for life now, thanks to a lot of old training partners. And you know, you guys are still cool, okay? But y'all yeah. messed me up a lot, you know, and that's that's a little lack of integrity because you know your size difference. You know you shouldn't be rolling with this guy or sparring with this guy so hard. Yes. You know, and just and just things like you know paying your your gym membership on time. You know, uh, that's that's lack of integrity right there. You know, you know, uh, uh, showing up super late to class and, and or or not maybe even mopping up afterwards. This is not a dig to the members. You know, <laughs> well, you guys are good now. Everybody's yeah. mopping up. We're but, all good. We're all good with that. You know, things like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. Joe, you run with it. Yeah, pretty much like. In life, the way I look at integrity is, is being like the same the same man or woman wherever you at, like and not in the way that you gotta act like exactly the same and treat everyone exactly the same. Because obviously, obviously you're gonna be more loving you are more loving to your girl or your moms or your dad than you're gonna be to a random stranger, yeah. and not and not in that way, but be the same person. As in, if you're willing if you're willing to give your all in school, then you should be willing to give your all. With your family, you should be willing to give it all at the gym. You should be willing to give it all everywhere. It's it's your morals, like who you are as a person. That should be that should be like all the time. Like that sh that should never change. And even though the variables may change depending on who you're with, you should be exactly your, your person should be the same person. That's yeah. how I see integrity. Exactly. And and you know, like um, just talking real quick, because uh, you kind of touched on it. It's you know, like again, back to that that life of duplicity that integrity to me is really kind of like your word right so let's just say that i'm a happy-go-lucky guy in front of these people every day right 
But then I go home and I'm some belligerent drunk or, you know, uh, I, I curse at my wife. I ignore my kids. Uh, I don't I don't treat them the way that I espouse the way I do when I'm I'm in the gym. Right. Or let's say, you know, uh, I'm speaking to a, a prospective client from, you know, some, one of my other businesses. And, you know, uh, I, I coward under the fact that that he or she may be a potential client and I don't I don't speak with the same certainty or the same validity or the same weight that I would, uh, let's say, because being a coach, you know, in the gym. I mean, my thing is, you know, we're, we're all human beings. OK, so no one is above anybody else. So the way you speak to one human being, then it should be the way you speak to everybody. So this way, yeah. if you're speaking tough. So let's say I speak tough to you. Right. But then someone else comes in and then I speak, you know, real calm and, and peaceably with this person. That's a life of duplicity. I just lost my integrity. I was going to say, we, we get a bunch of people that come in this gym all the time that when it's just me and my dad, because we look smaller, we look like we don't we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We have groups of people that come in trying to act tough all the time. But then when we got all the guys in here and this like it's like 10, 15 deep in here. All of a sudden, now those same people, they just look in and they yeah. walk away. Yes. Or like in general, like if you're going to speak, like I know a lot of people that talk crazy to their mom or talk crazy to their girl, their wife, their kids, because they know they can. They know they could bully them, but they would never speak like that to my face. They would never speak like that to other people that they know could whip them, whip yeah. them silly. Yeah. So like be a man, man, like do be the same everywhere. If you're going to do that to your mom, then speak like that to a stranger. Yes. Don't, don't punk out. Exactly. And then, and lastly, on that, uh, for me, no, you you can keep. It. I'm gonna pass it to him. So, ju just also like on that on that whole note. So, like for example, you know, I'm not a big uh, social media guy. Believe it or not, I'm not. Okay, um, I use social media because it is a conduit. is it, It's a platform, especially for for a business or an organization like myself. And you know, one of the things that uh, that again that I push or promulgate on Instagram is the same thing that I push and promulgate here. So again, uh, you know, whether it's my worldviews, whether it's my ideology, whether it's my theology, whether it's my way of thinking, you know, if, if it starts to affect others negatively because it's just not the same person, to me, it's kind of like there's that chasm, there's that, that, that dichotomy between the person that you are here and the person that you are outside. And, and it just starts to look like, um fake you know like phantom of phantom of the opera type of stuff and so you know you let the people see this other side of you and then they don't see this side of you and vice versa it just it doesn't look real you know like it doesn't look authentic and so like when i post stuff again on social media and and listen we can all post whatever we want but but any anything that i post it shouldn't be a shock to anybody because i'm exactly the same guy doing the stuff in here that I am that I'm when I'm posting and the same stuff and the same content and the same context that I speak with my family, with my friends or anybody else. Like literally, I am the same guy. But when it starts to look different, I feel like that's where like really and, you know, people see it. Right. People catch up on it. Right. Yeah. You you could see when like ah, that doesn't match whole the person. Characters. Yeah. Whole you know what I'm saying? Online. Like that, that life guy? of duplicity, you know, that's integrity to me. Um, but you know, let's talk on a, on, on a lighter note, uh, you know, just on a, on a smaller scale of integrity. So, uh, you know, back to, back to the, the gym here real quick. Uh, you know, we, we had asked people, um, uh, you know, if they could, because other schools do it all the time. And it's kind of just like a, a school thing, you know, it's, you know, when I see somebody, uh, speak about, uh, other schools or other people and elevate them to almost a status of a demigod or a god, you know, and what you would do for, for that gym or for that person, you know, you would think like, OK, well, listen, uh, my thing is I always give respect to people before they even respect me. Right. It's one of those you reap what you sow or it's one of those, uh, you know, do unto others as you want them done to you. So, you know, I give people tries. Right. Like, hey, I come across. Hey, what's up? I'm Nerdy Joe. Uh, and, and I talk to you and, and I really want to, to be there for you. I really want to do things for you. I really want to make sure that you up your game and in whatever area of your life, but I give you one strike, two strike and three strikes. You know, my mother used to give me one strike, so don't do that again. And then the second time comes pop, and that was it. There was no three strikes and there was barely a two strike. 
And the thing is, I give I give three strikes because, you know, I know that in people's lives, you know, everybody goes through things and it's like, I want to make sure, I really want to make sure, and I want to give you the benefit of the doubt that you're staying true to your integrity. And once I see that past the second, right into the third strike, I, I can't respect that anymore. And so before I lose my integrity and in treating you anything different than how I really feel about you, uh, it's best that we just cut cut ties. And the same, the same is true with, with any of us, right? And I think that that's what a, a life of integrity is about. Um, we, we remember this is freestyle, so yeah, yeah. you want to talk about anything? Uh, we can wrap it up with something hey, nice and light. Know, I want to. <laughs> I, I would like to. You know, the integrity thing was definitely deep and, and real stuff. You know, stay true to who you are. You know, if you're a snake, come come show us that those those slithering snake from the beginning. Yes, you know, yes, don't, don't come and show us later. But um, I want to talk about this right here a little bit. What you know, uh, the champ right here this. has had an excellent performance, a professional-looking performance in yes. one of his last amateur MMA bouts. Yes, yes, very good against a tough kid. Had a chin on him. Had mm -hmm. a hell of a chin on him, Ike. Man. Respect to Ike, you know, and his team. Yeah, big respect. To, big respect to Ike. I mean, and nothing, nothing but love on that fight. That that was an awesome fight. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, you want to speak on it a little bit? Yeah. How, how you felt in yeah, there? How, you know, how yeah. Was? I mean, it was. It was. It's been. It's been a couple of years since I fought. You know, for the people sanction. that know me. Yes, before the sanction fight. Um, you know, I, I've been going. I I went through something, a little injury, a little hiccup in the road, and still, still remain working hard, still faithful in God, and came back and did my thing, man. I felt really. I felt really accomplished, and mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it without. First of all, with God, yes. and with my team, man. My team is was really important. In this whole thing. And not even physically, because physically you can get good work from anyone. But mentally, my team was there for me, like a hundred percent and everything. So I, I appreciate, I appreciate, like yeah. appreciate them for that. And yeah, regarding the fight, I felt good in there, man. I felt, I felt comfortable. I f it's been a while. Like the ring rust was, the ring rust, you know, quote unquote, really affected me more in my cardio. It was more of like that adrenaline dump thing. But I felt good. I felt focused. I mean, we've been we've been sparring, we've been training nonstop since since the last time I fought. So it's not like I haven't been fighting. And at the end of the day, in life, life life is harder than any fight. Yeah, that's so for sure. So life has been hitting me hard like crazy. So that fight was easy compared to life. So and that that's any fight. Any fight, even if I get knocked out cold, is gonna be way easier than life. Mm -hmm. So that's that's basically it. And respect to Ike, um, he he was a, he was a worthy adversary. That was that was yeah. fun. I had a lot of fun. And I'm happy that he was game too, because mm -hmm. like it wouldn't have been as fun if he wasn't game. Yeah, but he was game, and it was it was cool. And, so. and no no trash talk, no, no it was none respectful. of that. It was, it was all yeah. yeah, go into the fight, take care exactly. of business. You know, the, you know these guys. A lot of these guys think that you know I was at the weigh-ins. Let, let's talk about that. I was at the weigh-ins, <laughs> and I and I was saying a couple things, but you know I'm just gassing my boy up. Yeah, yeah. Rick, this is different. His yeah, it wasn't up. like you were trash talking. No, no. That you were so, amping him up. Put yeah, it that way. Yeah. It was, it was, and I said respectfully, but you yeah, know, it's going no, no. down, you going down, but respectfully, yeah. we're gonna hug you right after, man. Yeah. But he he held up the mob. Exactly. He did yeah. touch the ground a little bit, though. Yeah, a little, a little. <laughs> but listen, uh, just to wrap it up, this is gonna be a shorter video, by the way, and, and some of you might like that, and hopefully, some of you are like, oh man, more. But just to wrap it up with the key word of today, with integrity, and 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 speaking of this, and speaking of him, and speaking of the team, you know. Uh, what you guys see of us, you know, either through social media and or when you're here physically with us at the gym, you know, it's a snapshot, you know, but we're very, we're very real. We're very transparent. You know, people pretty much know who we are. There is, again, there is no uh, being elusive in, in anything that we do. We are who we are, period. That's the way we are. But for those of you who don't know us in that way, you know, uh, there's a there's a lot of like like love here. There's a lot of conversations that go on, you know, that we we help support each other, you know, mentally, of course, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and and this is what I was talking about in our first episode. It was, you know, that camaraderie. You know, that we all go through different things in life, okay, and it's not like I'm gonna go through one phase in my life and then just as things get good for me. Oh, he's gonna go through a different phase, and, and just when things go, it, it's not like that. It would be cool if it was like that. We can help support each other, but it's integrity and the fidelity of the relationship that keeps this. This is why it is a bond. 
because sometimes we're all going through stuff simultaneously. And I'm talking about some tough stuff. And it's bouncing off of each other and being there for each other and knowing that we're there for each other again and not, not you know, BSing each other. You know, like when there's something that real that needs to be said, we'll say it for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all know that we're not saying it with ill intentions, you know, or or to have that, you know, like, well, let me tell you something type of uh, tone. It, it's love, you know, like, hey, listen, like, you know, we need to get on track on this. Yo, you know, we you got to check check yourself with this because A, B, and C. Or yo, yo, yo. You know, it, but we, we're able to share that and talk to each other because we're not fake with each other, you know? We'll all respect each other more if we know the type of men that we are right off the bat. And we I, I believe we know who we are right off the bat. And we respect that. I don't try to invade him or him, and, and they don't try to invade me and who, who I am. But that's what makes the basket so tight. You know, those indiv individual strands, we're individual strands that make that basket that are woven together. That's what makes this bond strong. There is no weak link in here, you know, and Samir's not here, but, you know, he's a guy who, who, again, proof is in the pudding. He comes, you know, from New Jersey to follow his coach and his dream and boom, and he goes to work. But but that's the type of uh, relationship that I'm talking about. Um, so at the end of the day. This was earned, you know, through integrity because through his injury and through it all, uh, we all kept a tight bond and, and, and we made sure we worked to keep this right, you know, to keep this right, to keep this right. And so that his intentionality towards going in that cage for his first fight back, his first sanctioned fight back was in the right space. And, and you know, he won victoriously um, in his first fight back in a couple of years with a, like I said, more like what he said, a worthy opponent. So that's integrity. That is integrity to me in a nutshell. I got to cough. <laughs> Let it out, coach. Let it out. Yeah. See, I'm human, man. I cough in the whole nine. <laughs> this is a real podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, we're, we're trying to set this up so you guys have to bear with us. You know, hopefully we're not holding little mics and stuff. It shouldn't, it shouldn't matter because the content's more important. But um, but it gives a glimpse of, of who we are and our thoughts and, you know, like uh, what we're thinking, you know. So uh, there's a saying and I'm probably going to say it in every video that I that I tell everybody. I do. Just to be clear, I do not want anybody here that does not want to be here. But anybody who does want to be here, I want you here. We welcome you here. And I think the sentiment is true across the board. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> If but, you guys want to close it off before I choke to death. But yeah, but yeah we're about to end <laughs> off right now. Um, let us know. Actually, let us know. Be, keep in touch with us. Like we want to. We want to hear what you guys want to hear. Comment, comment, yeah, like, comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, subscribe. Let us yeah, know what man. you want us to talk about. Like you know, we're trying to trying to do this. So yeah, just share. Post it. Talk. Yeah. Share the content. So we're gonna have special guests too. Eventually, you know, as we keep growing. Yes. We'll have cool special guests. You know, throwing some zingers in there for you. You know, maybe some funny guys. You know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then, lastly, uh, speaking of sharing and liking, you know, like it's very easy to uh, to to get a a video from a friend of some kid's underwear falling and it has poop on it, and it was about a three second video that went global. You know, that really it made you laugh. But but there was no substance in it. You didn't learn anything. You just you just learned how to laugh at a three year old kid with poop in his pants, and it's like you're quick to share those things, and that's all good, you know. But you know when you find uh, uh, videos like this that that have you know real life, okay, application and meaning, something with substance, you know, don't keep it to yourself. You know, share it. Go out there and share it to one person and hopefully they'll share it to two people and so on and so forth. You know, we really want to make sure this message of who we are gets out there. All right. So just keep that in mind. Yes, sir. All right. So that's all we got for today. Um, you know, write us uh, some some notes. And if there's anything you want us to talk about, you know, like let us know. You don't have to just DM me. You could DM any one of these guys. You can write in the comments of the YouTube page, whatever. There's a million ways to contact us and let us know what topic you would uh, like us to talk about and we'll bring it up and we'll give you a shout out. You know, we'll shout out your name. Yeah. All right. At, at, at Real Jojo Switch, at Joseph Musi or at Wing Chun Science. Science. And at Howl with Lobo. Yeah. Howl with Lobo. Okay. 
All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again. I'm going to finish off like I did last time. Boom. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that's what, that's what.